It was only my second week as new Roadshow co-host, and I was already auditioning for a new job. Roger Williams Park Zoo gave me the opportunity to go behind the scenes as zookeeper for a day. I quickly realized it's much more than just petting the animals. I buckled my bootstraps, mustered up my courage, and headed into one of the most interactive places of the park, the Tropical America exhibit. The public is actually in the animal's habitat. Um, it's a really large enclosure. It's wonderful for them because they have a lot of choice. There were two little attention seekers that zoo goers will love. They're in the family group of calatrichids, which makes up tamarins and marmosets. Marmosets are a little bit smaller in general than tamarins. It's not only the pair of cotton tops that we have here, it's the sloth and there's a variety of birds. After feeding the monkeys and spotting a number of different birds, it was time to get my hands dirty by helping some animals wash up. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, an anteater in the tub? That's right, even nature's weirdest looking animal can't resist a warm bath. I'm starting to think an anteater may be the next best thing to a Swiffer, especially for those hard-to-reach nooks and crannies. <laughs> I figured I was tough enough to deal with the animals, but there was another aspect of zookeeping I wasn't sure if I could handle. Well, these are emperor scorpions. We have one mother, female one, that's hiding underneath that rock, which you'll get to meet in a little bit. They're from West Africa. Um, and they're pretty big, they fit in your hand, um, and they are venomous. After a sneak peek of the scorpion, the zoo staff made me go through an old initiation ritual. <laughs> not a fan of cockroaches. I don't mind insects. This is not an insect, this is the size of a cat. That's a girl. That's it. Oh God, I have no control on him if he goes... <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was one frightening activity to the next. Scorpions and cockroaches and porcupines. Oh my. She is a prehensile tailed porcupine from tropical America. And she is about seven years old. Cute, but still dangerous. Oh, see, now she got oh nervous. So that's what happens when they get a little nervous. Look at that. Thanks so much for letting us hang out with you, Spanky. Amanda, where are we headed to next? We are heading down to the kitchen to do some food prep for enrichment for the gibbons. Enrichment for the animals is extremely important for them to develop in captivity. It involves everything from building them new toys to making feeding time fun and playful. We're going to put it in so that they have things to climb on and play on and uh, even maybe hang some food off of the rungs right there. The food is actually wrapped and stuffed in boxes so the animals still have to go through the process of hunting and gathering. And even just hiding food in the exhibit in different spaces makes them first search the exhibit and then try and find uh, the So it's like Christmas food. every day. It is. So being That's a zoo animal try. really isn't that bad. <laughs> After prepping and hanging the food boxes for the apes, it was time for me to enjoy the fruits of my labor. They get the food? So after all my hard work, I was still curious if I'd make it as a zookeeper. You've held a cockroach, you've bathed an anteater, and you've fed a porcupine. You are now an honorary zookeeper. All in a day's work. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was such a fun day. I want to thank the staff at Roger Williams Park for being, for working with me, because I wasn't the, was, I, was a, I was the diva on the set. Yeah. Hague Department of Gibbon Enrichment. I like that. I'm not scooping that. Get out. <laughs> now we know why he tried out for the road show. Still to come this morning.